Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In last video, I did unboxing of this 3,900 rupees Urthi fast track watch, and I told you that I will show you the function of this watch, and I will show you how to use them. So that's what I'm going to do this in this video. So let's check it out. This watch has six mode, and I'm going to talk about every mode in details. So the first mode is timekeeping mode, second mode is stopwatch mode, third one is countdown mode, and fourth one is alarm mode, fifth one is dual time mode, and sixth one is pacer mode this is the default timekeeping mode here you can see the date uh, today is thursday and 20 of 8th month okay and here it is counting the second and here you can see the time this button is called stop or start button here you can see the alphabet st slash stp which means start or stop and this button is for light here you can see also that it is uh, written and this button is for mode so here you can see it is written uh, in full form a mode de mode now suppose we want to change the time or date so to change the time or date we need to be in this uh, timekeeping mode okay so to change the time or date what we need to do we need to press and hold the reset button and it may beep or not whatever if it is not beeping that does not matter but something must flashing like uh, here you can see the second option is flashing here okay so something will flashing like this so if you want to increase the number of that second then just push it it will be increasing we just can increase we cannot decrease okay now if you want to change the hour so for that we need to press it, this mode button again so just press it and that uh, flashing will be shifted from second to hour okay now if you want to uh, increase the hour then just push this button push 10 11 12 13 it will goes uh, up to 24 okay like this so again you can set it as per your requirement now let's say uh, we want to set it as 7 7 30 pm okay so for that we have uh, selected 7 now if you want to just shift from hour to minute then just push it again now as you can see the minute option is flashing right now so if you want to increase the minute then just push this button again this is a 33 and if you press this and hold it like this then the increasing will be very fast you can see the number is increasing very fast so we want to set it as 7 30 pm it is 7 11 let me push and hold it 22 24 25 27 28 30 now if you want to shift from time to date then again press this button so now it is shifted to year here you can see 2020 2000 not showing here just 20 is showing last two digit so we can change the year from here so if you press this button then it will be increasing 24 25 26 okay so here remember that we cannot change the uh, day so it was previously thursday right but uh, we cannot change that if we just uh, set that uh, year and month and date then that uh, day will be showing automatically okay so now it is 26 what you need to do we need to set it as 2020 20 okay so it is 20 now now again push this mode button and it will shift it from year to uh, month so this is eight month so that is correct if you want to change then just press it so just press it again press mode button if you want to change it now if you want to get back from that option then just press this reset button again and that will be set it so now let us uh, talk about second mode which is a uh, stopwatch so if you want to shift from uh, this mode to uh, the next mode then just press this mode button now if you want to start the stopwatch then press this stop or start button i'm pressing it here you can see the stopwatch is started so now if you want to stop it then you can press it now it is stop now if you want to reset the stopwatch then press this button uh, which is reset button okay so i'm going to press reset button and as you can see the stopwatch is resetted now if you want to start the stopwatch again press it and please notice that we can get an idea that in which mode we are here you can see it is a short form of stopwatch so it is indicating that we are on stopwatch mode okay so now i'm going to third mode which is countdown mode or timer mode so for that i'm going to press this mode button again now here you can see it is showing tr which is short form for timer so now in this mode 
uh, if you want to set any time so for that press this reset button press it and now you can see that uh, our our option is flashing so if you want to increase the hour then just press this uh, this button this is stop and start press it and it will be increasing and it will increase up to 24 hour okay and after that again it will be repeated right now if you want to shift uh, from uh, hour to minute for that again press this mode button this mode button now as you can see that minute option is flashing now if you want to increase the minute just press this stop and start button and just press this reset button again and if you want to start the countdown or timer press this stop and start button again now as you can see the countdown is started 4 3 2 1 0 and here you can see uh, the minute is uh, shifted from 6 to 5 so this is second this is for minute this is hour so it will uh, count uh, up to one hour five minute and note that after finishing the countdown it will start beeping and it will beep uh, for 60 seconds until you press any button here so i'm going to show you that in live so let me set the time let me keep it zero minute keep it 20 second okay now 20 second again press reset and it is resetted in 20 second 0 minute 20 second here you can see it is saying 0 minute 20 second if you if i press this button then the countdown will be started here you can see 3 2 1 0 so it has started beeping right now if i press any button any button it will stop uh, so now let me switch to the fourth option that is for alarm i'm going to press mode button and now here you can see it is showing al that means alarm and if you remember that i just said that uh, this button is just for light but i was wrong uh, now we can use this button so now if you want to switch between alarm on alarm 2 alarm 3 uh, we have in this watch we have a uh, five alarm option so if you want to switch between alarm then you can press this button here you can see we are on uh, number one alarm number two number three number four number five so we can set five different alarm okay now just press this button this light button and uh, be on any 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 alarm okay let us uh, consider that we are on one alarm and we can set this we, we, we want to activate this alarm okay so for that if you want to set the time i'm going to show you how we can set that so if you want to activate this alarm alarm on then just press this uh, start or stop button and here you can see uh, that uh, wi-fi logo that means this alarm is activated if you want to set the time um, alarm time then just press this button now you can see that our option is uh, flashing so now if you want to increase that number then just press this uh, stop and start button right like this you can increase that number okay you can increase like this and if you want to shift to minute then just press this mode button okay like this you can set the time and just press this uh, reset button again and the alarm will be set it. now as you can see uh, that logo that wi-fi logo that means that alarm is activated if you want to stop it then just press this start stop button and this alarm will be deactivated so now i'm going to shift to fifth mode which is for dual time so i'm for that i'm going to press mode button and here you can see t2 which indicates that we are on dual time mode okay dual time means uh, one time will be shown here and another time will be shown here okay uh, suppose you want to uh, monitor two times from two different zone then you can set the time from one zone uh, in this space and from another zone you can set the time in this space okay so you can change the time also by pressing this reset button okay now if you want to change you can change it so this is our default time okay and this is uh, the second second time zone time you can set it switch to minute so like this we can set the process is the same okay after setting the time just press this reset button again and everything will be same now you can monitor time from two different zones so now let us go to the sixth and last mode 
uh, which is called pacer mode so this is the pacer mode pa now if you want to monitor any speed or something like that then you can use this mode so if you want to change this number then press this reset button okay and it will be changed like this 10 20 30 40 60 like this okay so after selecting your record number just press this uh, stop and start button and it will start beeping okay so if you press this mode button let me stop it so if you press this mode button again then we'll be get back to the first mode which is the default mode so guys that's it for this video i hope you have understood all the steps in this video but if you still have any confusion then please comment that in the comment section if you like this video then please click on the like button and please stay connected by subscribing this channel guys do not forget that this needs some effort to create this kind of video so please keep supporting me so thank you for watching this video see you soon in the next video goodbye